Hi, it's Chris, and I've been waiting for Ryobi for two years after they announced this new charger inverter. So let's test it out and see how it does. The interface is pretty simple. It's got indicator lights here, so you can tell what it's doing. It's got an LED, and it tells you what the results are. It's got an on and off switch you hold for three seconds that turns the unit on, and that controls both the AC and DC. It's got a switch for a light. It's got two 3 amp 5 volt uh, USB A ports, quick charge. It has a single 110 plug that can do 150 watts. And then it has a power delivery port that can be used both to uh, charge and to deliver power. So it allows you to use. Um, cigarette lighters in your car, sockets with adapters to charge it, or solar panels. It comes with a wall wart, a 30 watts output for power delivery, and it also has a 18 watt USB type A port, and it comes with a cable to go to the, um, a type C cable that goes to the power delivery port. The USB-C power delivery port has different amperages for each of the different voltages. So we'll go through and test each of them. The nice thing about the 40 watt inverter is it actually tells you the different amperages for the different voltages right on the device. This one doesn't do that. There's no spec. It just gives you the maximum. I'm testing the USB-C power delivery port. It says a maximum of 30 watts. I'm using my little decoy that lets me set the different test voltages. Right now I have it on 20 volts. So I've got 20 volts and I'm getting 1.53 amps, which is a little over 30 watts. It specs uh, 3 amps at 5 volts. It specs 3 amps at 9 volts. It specs uh, 2.5 amps at 12 volts. It specs 2 amps at 15 volts, and it specs 1.5 amps at 20 volts. So they all meet the specs. So the USB Type A port, it specs 5 volts with 3 amps. Unfortunately, it's still a modified sine wave output. It'd be really nice if it was pure sine wave, but it's not. I've got my light board set up. I'm currently drawing about 145 watts. Turned on one more bulb. And it's just over 150 watts. So it's meeting the spec of 150 watts. The fan has now gone on. I wanted to look at the efficiency of the inverter. So a four amp hour battery has 72 watt hours supposedly. So this ran for uh, 21 minutes at 150 watts. So that's uh, 65 watt hours. The nice thing about having the new um, type C input for charging is that I can just plug it into a cigarette light or socket with a type C adapter. If I put in the little tester I can see it's uh, got 11.3 volts at 2.26 amps and that's charging. We just had a snowstorm but the sun's speaking out a little bit here so I've got it plugged into my mega solar power panel with the type C output charging. Ryobi has had two solar panels listed for quite a while, a 21 watt and a 14 watt, but I would prefer to go with uh, the mega solar 100 watt panel because even on a cloudy day you'll still get 30 watts out of it, which is what the charger will take as a maximum. Mega solar has discontinued the uh, multi-folded uh, package and gone to this two-sided one 
I like the other one better because it would fold up and fit in my bike basket. I like the Mega Solar because of its controller. It has a 100 watt solar controller and it can do both uh, 20, 15, and 12 volt devices. Plus it has the, uh, the PD port that uh, is configurable. I think my biggest disappointment is that there's no pass-through charging. So as soon as you plug in power to charge it, it automatically turns off both the AC and DC output and then it starts charging. The charger charges at 30 watts and um, so a four amp hour battery is 72 watt hours. So it's gonna take over two hours to charge up a four amp hour battery from empty. Another downside of this is there's no way to separate the AC and DC output. So when it turns on, both AC and DC go off. So if you're not using the AC, you're still paying for it from, uh, because it's using your battery up even if you're just using the DC ports. I left this charging overnight. Some of my, of my batteries I get this weird thing when they're full. I get the blinking red and green which says like defective battery. Um, but the battery is fully charged. I think it's supposed to just go solid green but this one doesn't. When I put the same battery in my supercharger, uh, it charges just fine and it shows that it's green. So, might be a problem with the 18 volt charger inverter. Well, I hope these tests and comments were helpful. If they were, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.